Time to check in now with digital anchor Rachel Ramsey joining us from the NBC4i Digital Center with a look at the stories making headlines online this morning. Hi, Rachel. Hey, good morning, Jennifer. It's top trending online right now. A new bill in the Ohio House of Representatives aims to ban police in the state from ever using drones to kill as well as restrictions on which situations law enforcement can deploy them in. House Bill 149 would target law enforcement's use of the machines, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, rather than civilian pilots. It would block all Ohio law enforcement from using or authorizing the use of a lethal weapon or any UAV. The bill does not make any ruling on civilian pilots putting weapons on their drones, but the FAA already labels that a crime nationwide. For more on the bill, you can find it on our website, NBC4i.com. Ohio could drop below the lowest COVID-19 case count in a year. The State Department of Health reported over 3,300 new cases Thursday, nearing a previous 2022 record. The case rate is in its seventh week of decline as the state reported more than 5,100, the previous lowest record for 2023, the week prior. Over the past seven days, the state averaged around 482 new coronavirus cases per day. Communities and organizations across Central Ohio are hosting events and volunteer opportunities in celebration of Earth Day this weekend. Now, starting today, the Columbus Zoo is partnering with Accurate IT Services to host an electronic recycling drive. Now, instead of sending your old electronics to the landfill, you can drop them off to be properly recycled and repurposed. That is going on now and ends later today at 3. Tomorrow, there will be a community planting event in Dublin, and that will be held at the Ferris Wright Park from 9 to noon. And, of course, there are more events celebrating Earth Day here in Central Ohio. For more information on how you can volunteer, go to our website, NBC4i.com. And also trending online, take a look at this beautiful home in Columbus. Now, it's near Old Town East, and it's on the market just for, you know, $1.1 million. It was built in 2019 and features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a half bathroom, and a three-car garage. And that's not all. The basement, there's a theater and a recreation room. For more on this property, again, find it on our website. It must be nice <laughs> to be able to, you know, just live in a house like that. You that know? is a gorgeous piece of property. A lot yeah. of beautiful homes here in Central Ohio that Rachel will just get to look at um, yes. the photos and, yes. and dream of one. And, and yes, hopefully maybe one day, but <laughs> maybe one who's day to say? <laughs> if we pull all of our money. Yeah. All right, Rachel, thank you so much for the latest news, weather and sports at any time. Make sure you visit at NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected on the go with our free NBC4 News app downloaded in the Apple or Google Play stores.